I'm super excited because this is a brand new way to build an online business and make money online with YouTube Shorts without showing your face and without recording anything with the camera. But the thing with this strategy is that you need to hurry up and you need to start using it as soon as possible in order to actually build a profitable online business around it. But if you jump on it on time, then you can actually build an unbreakable online business that can make you money for the next couple of years or even decades. And that's the power of YouTube automation, posting videos today and making money over the next couple of years, but you have to be the first one to actually do the strategy, which I'm about to share with you inside of this video. So before I walk you through the entire process of exactly how to actually set this up for yourself, make sure to drop a like down below so we can get to 2000 likes in this video. So do your part, tap the like button down below and let us begin with an actual breakdown. Now you see when it comes to YouTube shorts, here's a YouTube shorts example channel. This is a YouTube automation example where someone is not showing their face, the creator of the channel is not showing their face and they're not recording anything with the camera, yet they are getting millions of views on these YouTube shorts. And according to Social Blade, they would be making up to almost $2 million per month from ad revenue. But we know that that's not correct because you can't monetize YouTube shorts with ad revenue. There are no ads showing up on YouTube shorts. So that's why you need to come up with an alternative monetization option. Now, yeah, I can go ahead and tell you that you can promote affiliate offers and print on demand and whatnot, but that's for some other time. Right now, we have an urgent strategy that you need to be using right now to actually build a sustainable online business. And this is something that we never talked about before, but you can actually decide which businesses are gonna thrive around the world in massive cities. And that's like a huge, huge thing. You like, you will actually have an influence on different businesses around the world. And let me show you what I mean by that. So first things first, you will need to start like a travel type of YouTube shorts channel in the travel niche. And you can search for example, for some business in some big city. For example, best restaurants in Dubai, best gyms in LA, best barber shops in New York, anything. I'm going to search for best restaurants in Dubai. And then we can open up a list on some blog that talks about like best restaurants in that place. In this case, that's going to be in Dubai. So we have to chew on this first one over here. So let me just try to find it. I lost it somehow. And here it is. This is the number one, actually. So this is the, the, the restaurant number one. I will open it up because we need their image. Images. So now I will just start downloading these photos. So basically what you can simply do is you can either right click on the image. If that's not uh, possible on your computer, if you can't download it like that, you can just simply take a screenshot. So something like this and save it up to your computer. Now do this, the same thing again, take another screenshot. So I'll take a screenshot of this burger right over here. So you want to have as many of their images as you possibly can and then proceed to Canva. So you want to go over to canva.com to actually create that YouTube short without showing your face and without recording anything. Then click on custom size and select 1080 by 1920. And that will open up this like short document, short template for you. And then you can go to the upload section, click on upload media and you can upload those screenshots on the left hand side of that first restaurant. Now for the first scene, what you can simply do is you can go to videos and then search for that place. For example, I'm going to search for Dubai and I'm going to find some clip of Dubai that looks nice. For example, this one over here and it looks like engaging that's like moving and not just static. So something like this. And then I will add some text that's going to say basically best restaurants in Dubai. And now I'm going to change the font because I really like this one, for example. Uh, I will reduce the size to make sure that it fits properly. So something like this. And I could also add some elements behind it to make sure that it stands out because as you can see, you can't really distinguish the text from the background. So maybe I'm going to add a red block behind it. And that's going to look something like this. Best restaurants in Dubai. We can also add like different animations. So maybe I can add this animation here and also animate the, the, the block behind. So I would just need to click on it, select this one. And here's how it's going to look like. And also I'm going to reduce the, the length of this first clip to only three seconds because you want to make it fast paced. So best restaurants in Dubai, I'm going to do 2.8 seconds, click on done. And I'll add a next scene. And the next scene is going to be that first restaurant. So I'm going to go through uploads. I'm going to upload this first image that I got. It's going to show up like this. We can, of course, add an animation as well, uh, or we can just leave it without an animation. I'm also going to add this one. Uh, this looks really good, really nice. Not that healthy, though, but it looks nice, honestly. 
I would definitely eat this. Uh, and then uh, you can go through the text the, on the left hand side and add the text to this first restaurant. So I copy the name of the, the restaurant, I just need to put uh, number one. Of course, change the font again to, to actually fit the, the first font as well. And then I will change the color to be white. So something like this. Now I'd also add the animation to this text as well. So maybe something like this looks good. Uh, all right, so this is the first uh, This is the first restaurant. So now I'll click on plus. I will go back to TripAdvisor where I found this restaurant from and I'll open up the next one. So the next one on the list is this one and then I can take a screenshot. I hope you see where I'm going with this. Now I'm gonna take another screenshot over here and save it to my computer. Then go back to Canva, go through uploads, click on upload media. And now I'm gonna upload this image, for example, first. And that's gonna look something like this. And then this image as well. And that would look something like this. Now we can of course crop these images because as you can see, it doesn't fit properly. So what I can do is I can just click on crop and I can crop the top part and this is how that would look like. And now I can also add text from the left hand side. I would just click on add text number two and I would add the name of the restaurant. So let's go back to see the name of this actual restaurant is gonna be La Piscina. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it here and also change the font again and change the color to be white. Uh, we can also add some block on the behind to make sure that people can see and read the name of the restaurant or I can leave it somewhere around here where the background is a little bit darker. This is how it's gonna look like the, the, the second restaurant. Now these are like five seconds long so we wanna make sure that they are less than five seconds long so maybe I'm just gonna do three seconds long and I'm gonna do the same thing here so I just wanna make sure that this one is also just three seconds long. So it's not like way too boring for people to watch. And let's actually preview the video so far. Best restaurants in Dubai. Number one, whatever this is. Uh, number two, La Piscina. And then we will just continue until we have like top 10 restaurants in Dubai. And then you can download this YouTube short and upload it to your YouTube channel. Now you might be wondering, okay, Dave, but how do I actually make money off of these YouTube shorts? Because there are no ads showing up on YouTube shorts. You can't earn ad revenue. Well, you see, whenever someone actually wants to visit some place or go to some business in a specific city, for example, I'm traveling to Dubai tomorrow, so I would like go and search on YouTube or Google, what are the best restaurants? What is the best barbershop? What is the best gym? Like everyone will be looking for that on Google or YouTube, and then they will open up one of these videos and they will see like, all right, this restaurant looks nice. I'm going to go with them. Or, hey, these guys are recommending this one is the number one restaurant. So I'm actually going to pick this restaurant over everyone else. And can you see the power of this? This is insanely powerful because if on Google or YouTube, no one is talking about your business, your restaurant, your barbershop, no one will actually go there. So what you can simply do as a YouTube automation business owner is you can find restaurants in let's say Dubai or, or any business in any place, but I'm using Dubai as an example. You can go to Google, you can search for Dubai restaurants, you can open up their websites. So let me try to find some of these. I'm gonna click on more places, open up their websites and then try to find some contact details. So let's see, for example, if this one has uh, their contact details or their email address on the website, and then you basically just find their email address on the platform, on the website, which is in most of the cases gonna be at the bottom of the website, there's gonna be like a contact us section. There should be, otherwise you can just contact them on Instagram, like literally DM them over there if you can't find their contact details. Uh, in this case, uh, it seems like they didn't leave their email address for some reason, but once again, in most of the cases, uh, business owners actually leave their email address so people can contact them. So you would find their email address. If not, once again, just literally reach out to them via Instagram, DM them and ask them if they actually want to increase their customers and explain to them that once you publish this YouTube video, it's gonna stay there forever. So they better be on the list and they are willing to pay for this because even if they pay you $500 to put them on the list, and even if you're like a super small, like you don't even have any subscribers, they are gonna be willing to do that because if you actually attract them customers through these videos, when people search for like best restaurants in Dubai and their restaurant is on that list, they're gonna get so many customers off of that and they're gonna grow their business so much faster if they weren't on the list. But if they miss out on this and they say like, hey, I don't wanna pay you, I don't wanna be on the list, you're gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna put your competitors on the list and basically your competitors are gonna get more customers and grow their business a lot faster. So like their restaurant and their business is gonna suffer 
and probably lose a lot of revenue. So just throwing 500 bucks for a promotion like this means a lot to these, to these businesses. You can help them grow a lot faster. And as I said, basically have an influence of which businesses are gonna thrive around the world. So that's how you can start a YouTube short automation channel where as you can see, you don't have to show your face, but you can charge a lot to those businesses to actually end up being in your YouTube shorts. Basically, you're charging them for brand deals to show up in those videos because they know that you can attract a lot of customers to their business if they're actually on the list. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to actually do brand deals, like how do you actually reach out and what do you actually write to those businesses and what do you actually tell them to sponsor your videos, click the first link in the description box down below and I will not only show you how I actually get brand deals for my YouTube automation channels to make over $20,000 per month just from brand deals alone, but I will also show you exactly how to set up the YouTube automation business the right away and how to actually set up automation systems so that you can earn passive income from a business like this one, how to actually set everything up to run on an autopilot even when you are not being in front of a computer all day long. Once again, that's gonna be the first link in the description box down below. You can check it out and I will see you in some of the next videos.